Hey guys, I'm back today with another video and this one is going to be brought to you by the company Julia Hair. And today I'm gonna to be showcasing their kinky straight lace frontal wig. This one is in the length 24 inches. This unit comes with your two combs on the side, a comb in the back and your adjustable straps. This is an average cap size wig. I did have to adjust my wig cap underneath because it was pulled too far up and you can definitely see it through the lace. And speaking of this lace, it is definitely long and it keeps covering up my eyes. And so I had to kind of keep maneuvering it out of the way. Um, I did do some customizations to this unit. I did go ahead and pre-puck this a little bit more off of camera, even though it does come pre-pucked. And I also did go in and bleach the knots. Now you can rock all your units glueless. You just need to make sure that it fits really good. So if you want to sew an elastic band on the inside of the wig, you will be good to go because it's going to lay down very flat. Now for today, I am going to be using my olive oil fix it hole spray, just lightly spraying this around the hairline. And then I'm just using my rat tail comb, the end of it to make sure that the lace is laid down and not rolling up in the front. And then I will be using a blow dryer to speed up the process. So I feel like the lace blended in pretty well to my skin. However, I did notice some lighter spots. So I'm gonna go in with my bronzing powder just around the hairline area because this is their Swiss transparent lace. So I just need to blend it in a little bit more. And then I'm gonna go ahead and comb the hair out. Now this is a 13 by four frontal once again. So you don't get a lot of parting space, but you get enough to kind of style this the way that you would want to style it. I'm gonna go around the hairline and then I'm going to put some wax and then just use my hot comb to press everything out because I want this to lay really flat. can see I am opting for a middle part because I want this parting space to look more elongated and look how nice and flat it laid down and this hair is looking really good it's giving me blowout vibes but I definitely want to see how well this is going to take to heat I did about two to three passes and I did not take away all the texture. I feel like you can turn your heat up even higher because I didn't have my heat turned all the way up but I feel like it did a good job. You can definitely tell the difference from adding a heat to just letting this air dry. I like the way that both sides look, but if you want a just more sleek look, then you definitely want to add some heat to it. And then I'm going to go ahead and add some of my Sleek and Shine Serum. This is just going to help everything looking nice and sleek. It's going to take care of those flyaways and also the frizziness. And I'm making sure to focus more towards the ends because I noticed it just felt a little bit drier. And then I'm going to place some of my powder into the parting space area. Now I did notice some areas that needed to be filled in a little bit because some of my bleach did see through. All you have to do is take an eyeliner pen and just lightly go to work and it's going to fill it all in. So guys, this is the final look. Um, I did forget to mention that this is a 1B. It definitely is coming off a little bit more darker, but it looks good. The hairline looks nice. The lace laid down with no problems and you don't have to opt for baby hairs if that's just something that you do not want to do. Definitely giving some long hair don't care on me, but you can always go for a shorter length. But guys, make sure you stay tuned after this so you can hear my final thoughts when it comes to this unit. I'm styling this unit from the company Julia Hair and I love the way that this pressed out. It did a good job without taking away all of the texture too much. Honestly, 
I could have just left it <laughs> as is like the blowout look but I really wanted to see how well this was going to take to heat and it did a really good job when I turn around you can definitely see the texture a bit more because I'm pretty sure I did miss a couple of spots because I can't really see back there but overall I think it looks really good. You have to go in and bleach the knots on this frontal because the knots were very dark and they were also kind of stubborn, especially up in here. I had to go back and add a little bit more bleach in the front because they just did not want to take. It did take well the second time around. Um, as you can see, I did also have to go in with my eyeliner pen and just fill in a few little spots where the bleach kind of seeped through on the hair. I don't feel the need to have to go in with any type of dye. The pen did a really good job because it was just some little small spots. And then I did put a little bit of powder into the parting space. Also around the hairline, I just used some of my bronzer. I used the Fenty Beauty bronzer and that helped to kind of conceal the lace just a little bit more. There were certain areas that were a little bit lighter. But once I put my adhesive on, I feel like it did a good job as far as already blending into my skin. I just needed to touch up a few spaces. This hairline, I did go in and pluck out a little bit more. It does come pre-plucked, but of course, I wanted to pluck it out just a tad bit more so that it can look as realistic as possible. Now, I did not want to pluck too much because this hair has a really nice density to it however right here in the frontal area it is not heavy in density so most of your density is focused towards the back area and it's not super thin where i feel like i'm going to you know bald it or anything but i didn't want to over pluck um and also up in here it is a little bit more thinner so i had to pull out a little bit more hair just to kind of cover up the track part because you do not want that showing at all. So I really wish they would have put just a little bit more density right up in here. But yeah, the hairline is looking good. As you can see, I did not use any baby hairs. Baby hairs are a personal preference. Do what you wanna do to your head. If it makes you happy, you can do it. If it doesn't, you can always skip that process. I say that all the time. But I didn't feel the need to go in and have to do anything. Now, I will say that I did get a good amount of shedding even after washing this unit. And then also, I did get a good amount of shedding during the styling process. The hair feels very soft, but these ends, I did have to give them some extra TLC. So I did go in and add a little bit more serum to the ends because they were definitely feeling dry. The rest of the hair, it feels great. I have no issue with it. Not really running across any tangling at this moment, but like I said, I did get a good amount of shedding. So that's really all I have to say about this unit. Um, my cons are I wish that it was a little bit more density right up in here. And I do wish this was 13 by six. Y'all already know how I feel about that. 13 by four, yes, you can make it work but i like to have some versatility going on and i want deep parting get some long hair on me i am only 5'2 if this length is not for you you can definitely go for a shorter length personally prefer 18 inches because it's just a little bit more easier to manage and it just looks super realistic so let me know what you guys think about this unit are you feeling it it feels very lightweight i don't feel like i'm going to want to rip this off of course when the summertime comes anything can go because it's just so hot outside but it doesn't feel bad on my head at all when it was looking like a blowout i had no issues with it if you are feeling this unit i'm gonna make sure to leave all the links down below do not forget to subscribe to my channel turn those notifications on share and like this video and i will see you guys next time